okay, today I want to show you how I built my Eurorack suitcase. It was quite a, a dream, a long dream of me. Um, first, I saw it uh, years ago on YouTube and some other uh, sources. And now I have time to build my own suitcase. It was a quite funny project and I put all the the sources uh, in, the, in the description, in the video description down below. And if you have some um, question to my build, um, ask me at the comments and I hope I will see it and answer it. Okay, first I started to to glue my wood together with some Ponal Express. This is a, a, a five minute wood glue. Uh, I cut all the wood at the local um, store, at the uh, hardware store to my measurements. And okay, after gluing together all the, the pieces, I sanded the first time with uh, some 250 um, grit sandpaper. Uh, it's better for the adhesion. Um, for the first primer that I bring on to the next step, you will see. Now I put the first coat of primer on the wood because um, the wood will suck up the color very fast and it's not so funny because that's because I primed the first. After that, uh, I will sand it down again with some 250 um, sandpaper. Uh, and after that, I put on the second coat. I, I think I don't film every step, but uh, now, you, you, now you know. Um, it's better to prime it uh, two times before you get the paint on it. Now you see um, I sand it down again with some 250 grit sandpaper. Now I start to paint it with some orange color. Um, uh, first coats I did with a, with a brush and yeah, and then I realized it's uh, the finish was not so good. Uh, yeah, I don't like the finish with a, with a brush. Later you see I changed to a roll, it's much uh, smoother. But you will see the surface look much better with some roll. You can test it out yourself. Um, I put the first two um, coats of color with the with the brush and then I change to the roll it's much 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 cooler uh, I forgot to explain uh, one step uh, I rounded the edges after gluing together the wood with uh, with a milling machine from Bosch uh, I bought this machine about a year ago uh, at a, a Black Friday deal for 80 euros the normal price is 120 and yes I around it off it's a, qu a quite easy step but you need the milling machine or i think you can achieve it with some sandpaper too but it's much easier with a milling machine uh, you will see Now I put the second coat of uh, the paint, orange paint on it and yes, and I realized after that, oh, that's not, not, not so nice, uh, I need a roll. But I like the color, color very much because um, I bought some weeks ago um, the Behringer Grave, it's have nearly the same color and I liked it very much, yes, this orange is really cool. And what do you think about, what, what's your color? Now I change to the roll and you see the, the finishing on the surface is, is much smoother and it looks quite nice now. Now I put the uh, corners, the black corners from Adam Hall 
on the suitcase. I pre-drilled every hole with the Dremel. Then it's much easier to put the screws in it. Okay, let's go to the uh, bus parts. I printed out some standoff with my 3D printer and put it on the bus parts. Um, then you can mount the bus parts to the case. Now I mount the bus parts in the case with uh, some normal screws. I think this was M3 12mm screws. Um, the wood that I use are 50mm um, multiplex. And now I install the uh, Meanwell uh, PSU. Um, I forgot to show you how I drilled the hole for the power compartment at the side where I can put the cable in. Um, you will see it in the end result. Um, and as you know, I put all the, the parts that I used in the description right below. And now I put the red standoffs which I printed with my 3D printer to put the um, rails in the right position to mount it uh, in the suitcase. And now I put the first module in. <laughs> okay, not a module, it's more a kind of synth. This is my Neutron and yes, I think it's come out really good. Uh, the next step that you see, I put the latches on. Now I realized uh, I forgot to film how I put the hinges on, but it's kind of the same way that I put the latches on, you see. Now I put on the rubber feet. And last but not least, I put the handle on. Now you see the final product with some modules in it and I hope you like my project. This was the first time I did this kind of project and I think it came out quite good. And if you have some question about this project, uh, please post it in the comments and I will answer it. Bye bye!